Hi, this is Simon from HomeKit News, and this week we're looking at a fairly unique desk lamp from Yeelight with, amongst other things, two separate light sensors. Now, what might they be for? Keep watching to find out. So, the lamp originally purchased from China is from Yeelight, hence the writing on the box, but it's also known as the V1 or Vision Pro desk lamp. As expected, it does work with Apple HomeKit, but it also works with Amazon and Google as well as SmartThings. Of course, now there are quite a few choices for HomeKit compatible desk lamps, but the V1 does come with some very decent specs, as well as a unique design. Features like auto light sensing, which we'll look at later, as well as anti-strobing technology and a high colour rendering index show this is a serious work lamp. OK, let's not waste any more of your precious time and have a look at the contents of the box. The first thing is a card explaining the functions of the lamp along with a small manual in simplified Chinese that includes an instance of the HomeKit code. Like many devices from China that don't have a ground pin, this comes with a Taipei non-polarised plug suitable for North American sockets. And just like all of Yeelight's power supplies, it does feel quite sturdily built, which is no bad thing. The other end has a coaxial or barrel connector that plugs into the lamp, not the base, which I'll show you later. So here's the main body of the lamp that comes in one piece. And the final part of this little puzzle of parts is the base itself, which is quite heavy and perfectly ideal. The underside also has the HomeKit code in case you mislay the manual. I'll just quickly show you how to set the lamp up, which is really as easy as it gets, with the lamp itself slotting into the base and held in place with a screw that just needs to be hand tightened. Once in place, the base allows the lamp to move horizontally by 45 degrees to the left or right. Speaking of the base, there are in fact two versions, the standard one I've got here, as well as a clamp style base if you don't have too much desk space. I'm not sure if additional bases can be separately purchased, however. Yeelight actually produce a lot of lighting products, even though some are labelled as Xiaomi's own Mi brand. This includes the Mi Desk Lamp 1S, the Vision of course, and the excellent Mi Desk Lamp Pro. You can see my separate video of the latter one via the link in the corner. Onto the specs, and with it using 100 to 240 volts, it'll work pretty much anywhere. It can produce accurate warm to cool whites, although it doesn't use Apple's adaptive lighting at this time. It uses 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi for connectivity, and it's also compatible with Mi Home and the Yeelight apps if they're needed. The lamp comes with touch-sensitive on-device controls, which includes on one side a brightness slider, so you literally just slide your finger along the strip to adjust the brightness. In the centre you get a power button to simply turn the lamp on or off, a timer button that can set reminders for scheduled breaks, and a light sensing indicator which I'll come to in a bit. To complete the set of on-device controls, the other side features another touch-sensitive strip that allows you to adjust the colour temperature, as indicated by the red and blue dots. I'll demonstrate these controls now so you can see them in action, and you can see that the power button is responsive enough, only requiring a light tap. The brightness controls do require a more consistent touch, which is also the case with the colour temperature controls. The one issue I have found with having these controls on the lamp itself is that even though they are touch sensitive, the lamp does give a little bit, making it feel a little bit wobbly. If I press and hold the light sensing indicator, you'll notice the brightness of the lamp adjusts with the indicator showing a red light. More on that in a bit, but pressing the timer button makes the light pulsate for a few seconds to indicate a timer has been activated. Here's a closer look at the LEDs which feature a diffuser that's designed for maximum light, but also to provide light that doesn't glare. The difference between the brightest and lowest settings isn't that noticeable here, but you do get a better impression of the difference between cool and warm whites. Now unlike some Yeelight products, the Vision Lamp doesn't have a night light mode. Let's start off with how the lamp shows up in HomeKit, and as you might expect, it just shows you the one tile with a slider to control the brightness, along with the ability to change colour temperature. Unlike some colour temperature lights, the interface doesn't seem to show a cool white option, however it is still available. In the Mi Home app you get much the same basic control but in a slightly better interface in my opinion, with sliders for both colour temperature and brightness, 
along with the power button at the bottom. You also have access to the timer and auto light sensing controls. In additional settings, you can create a countdown timer and you also get options for how the light acts when power is restored, as well as different modes for child or adult requirements. You can even create custom schedules based on different usage. Now there is one option called human induction mode, which is meant to detect when someone is in close proximity to the light, but I couldn't seem to get it working unfortunately. Like the Mi Desk Lamp Pro, the Vision Lamp has a set of joints to adjust the overall angle of the lamp. But in addition, you get to adjust various angles of the lamp portion itself, as you can see here. I mentioned early on that this lamp has dual light sensors. These sensors detect different light sources but work in tandem to make sure the light from the lamp and the surrounding ambient light work well together to avoid eye strain. This is something I've not really seen on a lamp previously and is definitely of use if you're going to use this in a work environment. These two light sensors will only be of use if you activate the previously mentioned auto light sensing function. Here a green LED shows that ambient room light and lamp light are balanced. However, once the room lights are turned off, you can see that the green LED changes to red, showing that you're at risk of eye strain with the desk light being out of balance with the surrounding ambient light. Finally onto the pros and cons, and I've long been a fan of Yeelight products and the Vision Lamp is no exception here, with another instance of a modern yet classically understated design. I mentioned high colour rendering which attempts to recreate natural light as closely as possible, which is something Yeelight has taken seriously and as such respect the company for going the extra mile. Even though a lot of the extras aren't exposed to HomeKit, it doesn't mean to say you can't take advantage of them even with the use of Siri shortcut, for example, as these additions are really quite useful. I love that they offer different mounting options, although it would have been nice to have both in one package. The ambient light sensors also go back to how seriously Yi Light take indoor lighting, and I can't fault them at all on this. Now, the only negative on this occasion is that the lamp could be a bit sturdier, but only because the controls are on the device itself. So that's our video of the Yeelight Vision desk lamp. As always, if you do want to read the full in-depth written review, head over to HomeKit News. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want more HomeKit product reviews. Until our next video, stay safe and we'll see you soon.